watching Business Today Television. I'm Sakshi Batra and this is a special edition where our focus is on the Q2 earnings. The company on our radar today is Paris Defense. The company has posted its Q2 numbers with net sales of over 61 crores in the September quarter, up 10% from a year ago period. We're also looking at the quarterly profit that's now close to 10 crores in September 2023, up 11% from 8.5 crores in September of 2022. Now, the EBITDA also stands at around 16.5 or crore rupees, again, at 10 percent surge is what we've seen now to discuss and to find out what the order book looks like and you know the future outlook on the company the company's top management is with us mr amit mahajan director technical and r d of paris defense and space technologies is with us welcome sir thank you so much for taking the time out for this discussion um well a uh, steady set of numbers 11 percent growth in the top line tell us what really contributed to your numbers this time are you happy with your performance Sakshi, firstly, good morning and wishing you a very happy Diwali in advance. And you thank too, you for having me on the show. Uh, these numbers uh, are, uh, I would rather say that they are in line with what we would go and achieve at the end of the year. Uh, we are primarily a project-oriented company and we do not uh, depend on quarterly revenues. The Q4 of our business is usually very, very heavy. And... Looking at that, we are uh, looking at a growth of about 30 to 35 percent. And I think we are we are in line with that particular trajectory as of now, as we close in for the half year. OK, so 30 to 35 percent is what you're guiding as the full year uh, growth yes. this time around. Uh, we'll come to the growth and the, the separate ways as far as your margins are concerned in a bit. But tell us about your company's order book right now, sir. What is the status? What does it stand at and the pipeline going forward? So the order book, we are retaining the order book in spite of these revenues clocking. We are uh, retaining the order book of about 600 crores, nearing okay. 600 crores. Uh, said that, what is also happening is a good amount of uh, uh, pipeline buildup, which we call it as funnel or which we call it as opportunities, which are very, very, uh, you know, large scale and uh, good probability. So when we are saying for whatever comes in the pipeline usually is at least uh, 60 to 90 percent probability that we will win the order. Okay. These kind of orders uh, or these kind of opportunities are in the tune of about 2000 crores. And that's something which is very, very uh, hopeful and very nice about uh, the defense markets, uh, which are domestically having a great impact on the domestic industry. Right. So 2000 crore rupees, which will be spread across uh, uh, till FI25. Is that what you mean? Usually, usually our order book, the, the timeline would be around 12 to 18 months. Okay, but okay. all these two thousand crores, as as I speak, uh, our efforts will be to convert these two thousand crores into our orders on hand, and this is a journey which is never ending. So as as this funnel co keeps coming uh, into our order book funnel, uh, what also we would be doing is increasing this uh, opportunity size to more than three thousand. So this this is a process that keeps going on. Maybe next year around, when we speak, I, I would be hopeful that I'm talking about in excess of 2,500 crores. Wow. Okay. That sounds exciting. Uh, tell us more about, you know, uh, you know how much of this pie is going to be come from coming from the space sector for you. The ISRO is doing a lot. We've actually seen some successful missions in the recent past. Any uh, particular orders uh, or order size that you're expecting to win from ISRO, uh, particularly for its projects? So the good part is uh, the last two missions where the whole world was looking at the space research organization that yes. has put or has given the due credit to uh, the space research organization. The scientists over there, I salute them and they are prob probably the best brains in the world, not just in the country. So when uh, they have done such a marvelous job, the whole world has started looking at ISRO very, very seriously. The whole world has started taking India seriously because we have landed where nobody else has ever landed. So this yeah. gives them a huge, uh, what do you say, a funnel. They feel that if they have to launch a mission, they should collaborate with ISRO and then uh, do a lot of space research together. All of this creates, uh, I would say, a positive pressure on the space research organization and also helps the industry which depends or thrives under uh, the space domain. 
Now we, uh, when it comes to the optics part of the space, Paras Defense is a very significant player here. Either the optics for the space is done by ISRO themselves or it is done by Paras when it comes to Indian manufacturing. Okay. So in this okay. space, in this space, Paras uh, will be an obvious choice for ISRO for all their upcoming missions where electro optics or optical requirements are there. And when you go to space, optics is inevitable in almost all the missions. Wow. So of the 2,000-2,500 crore rupees order visibility that you have, how much is going to be from particularly ISRO? What is the potential there? It's approximately about 1,000 crores. 1,000 crores odd. And that could be spread until, again uh, next 12 to 18 months like you were pointing 12 to 18 out. Months. That's right. Okay. Understood. Understood. Now, uh, that's going to be very, very significant. I understand. What about the margin, sir? Um, you know, uh, on the growth of 30-35% odd that you're guiding for FI24, uh, what are your margins at currently and how do you see the visibility? So, we would also want to retain, being conservative, we would want to retain the margins that we've been doing for the last so many years. We've, mm -hmm. we've had a 27-28% of uh, EBITDA and about 17-18% of VAT. So, we would want to retain that. If not better, we would always want to better it, but to be on the conservative side, yes, we would retain for sure. Okay, so 27-28% on a full year basis. Uh, what can we expect in, uh, say, next two quarters, H2, particularly, like, you know, spread between each quarters? Uh, they, these, uh, the Q3 will still be similar trend as Q1, Q2. That has always been the case. Q4 okay. will see a jump and you will see the effect on the H2. Okay, got that. Also, sir, um, recently, uh, I think uh, your subsidiary, Paras Aerospace, uh, has also secured approval of the DGCA uh, to sell about 400 agricultural drones. So I wanted to understand a little bit on the kind of uh, you know revenue potential you're hoping to get from the drones business going forward. How big is it going to get in your overall contribution of the revenue, sir? So, uh, Paras Defense has uh, three subsidiaries, uh, rather two subsidiaries. The third one is yet to uh, yet to be announced. Uh, okay. One is Paras Aerospace, which is into drone. And the second one is Paras Anti-Drone, which is into mm -hmm. um, all kinds of countered uh, UAV uh, technologies. Now, these are very, very significant and very complex technologies when it comes to anti-drone systems. Uh, talking about the drone, which you asked, uh, we have an offering where we can we cater to the three main domains of drone applications. One, which is an industrial application. Second, which is an agricultural application. And third, which is military application. And we have solutions for all of them. Uh, to our surprise, and not so much, but uh, agricultural drone market has really taken up. And uh, those were those turned out to be a low-hanging fruits for us. We participated in one tender and that particular tender, we got the the first order of 400 numbers, 400 dr drones, agri drones. And there was a condition that you will start supplying these agri drones after you receive a certification for the drone, which is specifically required for that particular order. I am very okay. proud to mention that Paras uh, was the first company amongst all the people who got that order to get this certification. So that talks about uh, how uh, well versed we, with the technology that we are. Uh, we will start deliveries in November or maybe uh, early December. Uh, with this, what happens is this instills confidence in our customers. And they understand that we are a serious player. They already have that confidence after the certification because we did that in a flash. Uh, hmm. This certification is not a very simple thing. It is certified by DGCA, and that's a that's a very very stringent organization because they are they are securing our skies. So by doing this, it has already given an enough confidence that Paras is a sub, uh, formidable player when it comes to agri drones. As we start hmm. delivering, as they start using these assets, uh, we should we are expecting a huge amount of uh, uh, order book, a huge amount of quantities in the uh, agri sector. Because okay. this is going to, in the agri terms, this is going to grow like wildfire. You know, so mm -hmm. it is going to catch up from one state to another and one, one uh, organization to another. Agricultural uh, benefits that a drone application can give you are very, very unique. And hence, by introducing drone in the agri sector, I think uh, the government and we will be doing a great noble cause.
Okay. So, sir, um, uh, this uh, revenue contribution from this right now, what does it stand at in percentage terms in your overall contribution from the agri uh, agri drones business? And how do you see the visibility going forward? If you look at uh, this year, the revenue contribution will be about 10, 10 odd percent. Okay. Okay. But uh, going forward. Forward, forward, I would want it to go beyond 20 percent. Okay. Because the difference by itself will grow, and of mm -hmm. that 20 percent is going to be substantial. Understood, sir. So you're already talking about two of your subsidiaries. Um, Agri Defense right now is a smaller portion, but is slowly, gradually going to be a twenty percent of revenues, and that is what you foresee in the future. Future as well. Uh, the third subsidiary that you were hinting at, what sector is it going to be in? So third subsidiary, we would. Uh, I do not want to talk because I I cannot do that. I will first intimate uh, my uh, stock exchanges sure. and then. Okay, okay, fair enough, sir. Fair enough. Uh, tell us about uh, the company's possible foray into the exports business as well. So export business becomes, uh, uh, if you ask me about five years back, that would have been our growth strategy. But mm -hmm. the way the winds have turned in uh, favor of the domestic industry. Uh, and India being one of the largest defense markets in the world, uh, I think uh, it will be wise for any Indian manufacturer to focus on mm. its domestic home ground, which is like the best level playing field, best uh, area that you can work on, uh, maybe offering you better margins than an export business as well. So I think uh, we want to focus on the domestic business uh, exploit it to the maximum and as we start uh, delivering higher quantities for the domestic customers of ours we also will be ready for the world we can become like uh, the government or modi ji has that uh, vision that we should become a global defense manufacturing hub i think we are one of those companies which will be at the pivotal part of that particular vision well, okay. All the very best to you, sir. Thank you so much for sharing all these insights with all our viewers. And all the best for the upcoming quarters. Hoping for more interactions to understand more about the business because you're in a very, very exciting space. Something that everybody is watching out for as the next, uh, you know, space where growth is going to be poised for. And something that you can also give us more insights as to how this uh, own entire industry and your company can be benefiting for the shareholders, aspiring investors at large as well. Many thanks for being with us on Business Today Television, sir. Wonderful talking to you, Sakshi. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. And with that, we wrap up this special edition. But Paris Defence, steady set of numbers, promising outlook even going forward from here. Critical part to the space missions, uh, the only other company than ISRO, which is supplying uh, optics for the space missions to ISRO. And that's going to be a larger part even going forward from here as well. Um, Agri Defence and drone space is also going to be an improve, uh, you know, incremental part for the company going forward from here as well and the third hint that he has given us as an exclusive on business today television is that paris defense is going to be looking at creating a third subsidiary as well a third segment that they want to get into before they have you know talked about it to the exchanges uh, something that is going to be coming up and this development we will continue to get you on business today tv as well many thanks for being with us on this channel